Hello, my name is Thil Rajkaur and I am an organiser and you might be wondering what's an organiser and I'll explain that to you after I've explained a little bit about who I am. So when I was 10 years old I went for a bike ride with my friend in my local park and I grew up in London and I went on this bike ride we were minding our own business and a group of about 15 youths who are around 15, 16 year olds um, came up to me and my friend and they said, say you're a Paki. And I'm Indian, I'm a Sikh woman. And I said, actually, I'm Indian and I don't want to say I'm a Paki. And they said to me and my friend, if you don't say you're a Paki, we'll beat you with this branch. And they had this branch in their hand. I managed to get away, but my friend didn't. She got attacked, she got beaten and almost drowned in a lake. When I went home and got my dad, who lived two minutes away, and I was being chased by somebody on their bike, um, we were getting my friend, um, trying to save her, went over the grass, grabbed her, my dad grabbed her, put her in the car, my mum had called the police, and we sat and waited for the police whilst the rest of the people that were attacking her, almost drowning her in the lake, um, dispersed, they all disappeared. When the police came, they ended up arresting my dad. Now, my dad's a Sikh man. He's got a turban. He's got a beard. And we couldn't understand what had happened. My dad, who came to save us, was the man who was being arrested. And this made me really upset. It made me upset about the police. It made me upset about what had happened to us. And um, I didn't know what to do. Um, it went to court. Uh, my dad's um, case got thrown out. He's um, a very respected man. He's a he was a deputy head teacher at the time. Um, he's CEO of a charity for disabled people. Um, but he shouldn't have needed to have justified that, right? He was a good man just because of the way he looked. He got arrested. So it made me think about what I would like to do to make the community a better place. And this is a question I've got for you. What would you like to do to make um, the community that you live in a better place? And now we can think of things like feed the homeless and things like that. But I wanna th want you to take a moment to think about what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about working with young people. I wish I could be here with you today, but I can't. So I'm sending this video instead. Um, but I want you to take this moment to think about what do you care about? What are you passionate about in life? Um, what has happened in your life that's made you think, I'm really angry about this? Whether it's racism, whether it's homophobia, whether it's hate crime, whether it's Islamophobia, or the fact that you just see the fact that your friends or people you love get treated in a way that they shouldn't. Now, I am, I used to be a teacher, I used to be a teacher for 10 years, and then two years ago I decided to be part of Peterborough Citizens to launch a social justice charity. Now what that means is I'm an organiser, so I go around organising lots of schools and trade unions and churches and mosques, and I go in and I train them and I say, you can make a difference. Yes, you, no matter how old you are, if you are eight years old, 18 years old, 80 years old, you can make a difference. If you'd like to know how to make a difference and what you can do and work with me and my organization, as well as all these other schools with people that care about their loved ones, care about the community, want to do great things in their communities, become a leader. And a leader isn't that person who shouts and says, you look at me, a leader is somebody who is passionate, somebody who is angry, somebody who feels like they want to do something but doesn't know what to do with that energy. You're not perfect as a leader. You, ha you just have this energy and you want to do something about it. And we can use that energy to make a difference. So if that sounds like you, and if that sounds like something you would like to get involved in, then please let um, Miss Joyner know, who's working very closely with me, and we will um, come together and make a difference, make Peterborough better. And this includes you getting training. This includes working with a fantastic fun group of people. This includes um, 
working uh, with counsellors sometimes, with MPs, sometimes mayors. This sounds really intimidating, but it isn't because you end up, end up with a group of people that really care about this issue and really want to make a difference. So I'm really excited to meet you and next time it will be in person. So I hope you have got a lot to think about. Um, please sign up and give your name and uh, we'll be in touch soon. Take care.